Okay, welcome back. Alright, now that we have the Mugnum, we can skedaddle on out of here. Now, unfortunately, I only have one inventory slot left. Hopefully, that does not create an issue. Because what I really should have done was leave the mansion with that emblem so that I could just use it on my way to that um, that area where we got ambushed by the monster in chains. And then I could have just dumped off the magnum right then and there. But alas, I, com I completely forgot about that. Nothing else in this room, right? Yeah, we're good. And I could go back to the the item box right there, but I'm pretty sure that there are dogs waiting for me in the room where I had to use that stone and metal object. This is Brad. Come in, Stars Alpha team. Come in. Does anybody hear me? This is Chris. Brad! This is Chris! Brad! Damn! This thing's broken. God damn it. Okay, there are dogs in this area. And we need to go straight ahead. So, let's see if we can avoid alerting them. And there is a blue herb there, so we should make a note of that. All right, looks like we were pretty stealthy in avoiding the dogs. Very Sugoi. Nice. Very high quality cutscene. <laughs> you can hear the sound of a waterfall in the distance. Oh, you don't say. All right. That was largely uneventful. Okay, there may be another dog in this screen. Let me see... Alright, we just gotta go straight ahead. Alright. Well, uneventful again, thank god. Red herb. Um, I think I may want to pick this up to have it on my person right now. And I think I am going to come across an item box pretty soon, so we can dump it off. Yeah, and if only I didn't have the fucking magnum, I could have picked up those green and blue herbs, mixed them, and then mixed them with this red herb, and would have been cash money millionaires. Yep, there's blue herb right there. Blue herbs. Good to know. Alright. Now, I believe this is a save room. Yes, it is. That looks like a grenade. Nice. Okay, ink ribbons. And we got some kerosene. 
which I'm sure we will need to put to use. So we'll swap this out, put this away. Oh, I was hoping that I could combine them. All right, let me just combine these. Take this ink ribbon. And let me pull out our kerosene. Or fuel canteen, I should say. And let's fill her up. All right, is this room? This room is taken care of. All right. You know what? Let's save. We do have 13 ink ribbons. At this point, we're not going to run out of ink ribbons. Might as well just put them to use. Alright, now we need to, um... I guess, explore this area. Because we just arrived and we don't really know what the hell is going on. And I should be able to finish this area uh, pretty easily. This is not a difficult section of the game. Alright, so. I guess first, let's check this door. It's locked. The door plate reads 001. Alright. Let's check this door. Oh, it's a fucking spider! Well, we can kind of avoid fighting those things because they're fairly slow. A strange silhouette hovers in the reddish light. Could it have some kind of meaning? Alright. Not sure if we're going to be able to make use of that right now. It'll be a little tough to remember. Let's go down here. Okay, we got some shoddy shells. We got a red book, okay. And that looks like a medical spray, so we can remember that. Alright, another symbol. Okay, I should be able to remember this. Red is two on top, green is two on the outside, and orange is four. Hopefully I can remember that. And I think other than that medical spray, there's really nothing else in this room. Oh, and I guess this herb. <laughs> Even though that guy is on the fucking thing... Uh, he didn't really block us from using the door. Alright, let's, uh, dump off some of the shit that we got. Uh, alright, we don't need the shotgun shells right now. The red book, I'm trying to remember exactly where we need that for. I don't recall. So I'm just going to hold on to it in case we need it. Alright, and we're going to move this box over here. Yeah. Uh, I think that should do it. Even though it's kind of like clipping into the wall. 
Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you need to do that in order to avoid getting hit because the hole in the in the floor allows a certain monster to strike you whenever you cross. Newspapers lie scattered to boot. They all seem to contain articles about stars. Interesting. So over here, it's locked. Door plate reads gallery. All right. Uh, okay, I can go in here. What's over here? There's a marp of the residence. Take it? Yeah, why not? You got the marp of the residence. There's a hole in the wall here. Uh, okay, there is nothing else in this hallway. Looks like a file there. Oh, I thought there might have been a, a Zambambo in here. Plant 42 report. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about this plant, we know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host's anatomy as well as, as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main source of... Two main sources, it should probably say, of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There is a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the plant in the water that's promoting the plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the plant 42 senses its prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. Uh, we've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey, or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, several of our scientists have already fallen victim to this Plant 42. When we heard the stories from the survivors, they all observed one thing in common. When the uniform petal-like flaps open and reveal its, in, its vital internals, it has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it does is still unknown. May 21st, 1998, Henry Sarton. All right, so that's the information about Plant 42 and all of that it entails. And that would be the thing that attacks you if uh, you walk over the holes in the floor where we move that box. All right, what's in here? Okay, we got the residence key. And that is for 001, okay. Anything else in this room? Nope. All right, we can skedaddle. I think I could probably put this book away. I don't think I'm going to need it right now. Or anytime soon. 
So it's just going to be taking up an inventory slot for now. Yeah, let's toss that key away, because we're never going to need it ever again. Um, alright, let's explore... oh! Nice. That's not fucking creepy at all. Come on. There we go. Alright, good. We were running low on handgun ammo, so that's good. And we got the self-defense gun, which is basically... Here we go. Suicide note. June 22nd, 1998. I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive, but Robert started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually I'll get what's coming to me though. There's no way to escape from this nuthouse. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is regret beyond words. But this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message on the back. Linda, please forgive me. Is there anything else in this room? No. Well, that sucks. Alright, so that guy may come back to life. It's full of dirty water, pull the plug, yeah. There's something inside the bathtub. What is it? Control room key? Yeah, give me that shit. Is there anything else in this room? No, there isn't. Alright, let's just get the hell out of here. Okay, so, I... I think I'll dump off the pistol... ...for now, because I don't think we really need it for the upcoming section. It's gonna be a bit of a gamble, but... I'm gonna take my chances. I'll just put this stuff up here. Uh, no, it wasn't that room. Was this one. Yep. I remember that you came in here. I heard you walk in. Alright, let's set him on fire because... We will be spending a bit of time away from this room and we'll have to come back into it. And the reason is because of this. Okay, we gotta push this one back, right? Uh, 
Um, yeah, I, I think we should be fine, because I'm going to use the control room key down here. So then we'll have three slots. Alright. Time to do another block puzzle. Although this is pretty easy. It's one. That B2. That's three. See? Easy enough. Uh, we don't really need that herb, so we'll just leave that be. Richard! Now I have questions. Why the fuck was Richard there to begin with? <laughs> what? Shouldn't he have been laid up? I don't know. Let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Alright, I gotta go around this way. Yeah, it's quite the mystery how the fuck Richard ended up there. So, yeah, Richard dies no matter what happens. <laughs> he either dies from the poison or he dies to that shark. But if he dies to that shark, as opposed to poison, you get a little bit more, uh, a little more stuff. An error message is being displayed. Something appears to have gone wrong while the water was being drained. There's a switch to drain the water. Press it? Yeah. Emergency! Emergency! Unknown source of pressure detected. Locking all doors to achieve maximum safety. Oh, shit! Cannot resume drainage. Alright, so we gotta do some stuff here. There's a control lever for the pressure shelter, but it won't budge until the safety is released. Where's the safety? Reaching 30% of pressure threshold. Oil pressure lost. Shelter operation terminated. Restore oil pressure, then release the safety. These switches control the per uh, I guess one. Reaching fifty percent of pressure threshold. Okay. Activate emergency drainage system immediately. Three? <laughs> Number three, third time's a charm. Alright, then we gotta release the safety again, it said, right? Now are we good? T 
fucking shark. Drain the goddamn water. All right, crisis avoided. Uh, oh yeah, what's over there? This uh, this a marp? Map of the Aqua Ring. Give me that shit. Not that it's really like a big area, but you know, hey, might as well pick it up. <laughs> Open valve three. All right. <laughs> I guess let's pick this up since we're probably never going to come back here. All right. Um what is over here? Some shotgun shells. Okay, running low on inventory though, fuck. It's alright, we can come back here. Uh, alright, yeah, we want to... want to watch out for that bastard, and you see this? Yeah, give me that assault shotgun, baby. Alright, so we are full on our inventory, unfortunately. But let's see what else we need to do over here. You trifling bitch. The water flow control system, it doesn't have power. Pull that lever down. Ah, oh, shit! <laughs> Did I hurt myself? No, okay, I'm good. I have to turn it off first. Push it in the water and then turn it on. There we go. Alright, now that son of a bitch is dead. Do I need to turn it off? It's toasted. Alright, nope. Now, what is this? This is the gallery key. Alright, we're gonna have to come back and get this, because we are full of inventory. And I think there's also magnum rounds that we can pick up in this um, underwater area. I wish you could kind of just dispose of things, because like we could just get rid of that self-defense gun. We're never going to use it. Yeah, those are the magnum rounds. Alright, we're going to have to come back. Not a big deal, because it's not like there's any enemies that we need to run past. Yeah, we set this guy on fire. He may have come back as a Crimson Head uh, upon our return, so glad we avoided that.
Right. I'll clean up the inventory and call it a part since we are at time. And then, um... Yeah, we should be able to probably finish this area in the next part. If not, definitely the one after, because this is a fairly short and simple area. Alright, put that away. Oh, we could definitely put that away. And... Yeah, we're not... We don't need two shotguns right now. Um... We also don't need the kerosene fuel canteen right now. All right. As always, it's been real and it's been nice. In other words, it's been real nice. See you next time.